Hello, and welcome to another edition of Test Rigs Unboxing. Today, I have the Kodak Easy Share W1020. This is a Wi Fi certified 10 inch digital photo frame. Anyway, let's get to this here. Okay, uh, I already said what it was. It's W1020. Uh, wireless digital frame with home decor kit. Yeah, let's see what that is here. Uh, it says 512 megabyte, uh, stores up to 4,000 pictures. It must be small pictures for 512 megs. Okay. On the back, uh, set your pictures free. Easy access to latest news, weather, sports, and more directly from the internet, powered by Frame Channel and RSS technology. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, all right, well, let's check it out here. Let's see what we've got in this box here. Uh, oop, there we go. Opens this way. Uh, and it's taped. Hmm. All right. Inside, I find quick start guide. It looks to be some kind of frame thing here. Guess I'll find out what that is in a minute. Now, there's a couple things in here. Let's see. Huh. I'm curious now. Okay. This is... When you're not using the mat, reapply to the liner to keep the adhesive backing clean. Um, okay. Oh, so it is. A, put, put, put it over the frame, basically. There's two different ones. We got blue and red. You have to make it match your home, if you want to. Yeah, welcome to your new digital frame. Go like Easy Share. Uh somehow. There we go. Yeah, of course it's going to stick, right? Da, 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 da. All right. Uh, wrong language. There we go. Register your Kodak frame. No. I uh, got a nice little... Let me move the camera here. Make it easier for me. All right. Got a nice little cleaning cloth. Got a Kodak Easy Share digital display software. Digital Frame Edition version 1.1 disc. And we've got our manual. Several languages. Yeah. All right. Uh, in the box, we find a USB cable and a power supply. Anything else in here? Nope. That's it. And then of course we have the actual frame itself. Ah, let's see if I can get this in here. Ah, there's the frame. Okay. Yeah, well, well, since we have the back, there's the back. Uh, got hooks or mounts for four hooks. You can mount on the wall, whatever. But it also appears to have a stand. Has little rubber things on it here, and it can be apparently it can be moved this way or that way, so you can orient it horizontal or vertical. Oh, here's our power. Power supply connection. Put this down. On this side, I see. What do I see here? Audio in and out. Anything else? Oh, got a mini USB connection, a regular USB connection, and a compact flash card reader. And on the top, we've got volume. Now, uh, what's that? Oh, that says SD, MMC, MMS, or XD cards. And this apparently is the power button with a little power insignia on it. There's the front. Let's move it back a little bit. Eh, turn the light off. Okay, there it is, way back here. It's pretty big to get into full frame. Uh, okay. But anyway, you can. Here's these here again. Uh, I'm guessing these just, you know, you can slide them over if, if you'd like red or blue instead of the grayish color that's here. Uh, it's really big. Um, it's just 10 inches. I mean, a lot of it, as you can see, is taken up by the border frame itself. We've got uh, some stuff going on here. It's Flickr, RSS, news. If I can get in on it. Weather photos on the bottom. Touch above to activate. Obviously, it's not going to activate because we have no power. Uh, it's called the Kodak Quick Touch Border. Uh, built backlit touch sensitive controls. 
throws up the 4,000 pictures and images. And that's about it. Uh, I guess I'll plug it in, put some pictures on it, and we'll see how it works.